tuning in. I'm here to talk about mental and physical abuse. Years ago, I was in a mental relationship. Mental as this man was trying to control my mind mentally. As if nobody didn't love me. He was the only one that loved me. He called me names. He said I would never be nothing. The list go on and on and on. I was never in an abusive relationship, so I can't really um, judge a hand on hand because I never was abused, but I was abused mentally. And I heard someone said that mental abuse is even worse than physical abuse. Because physical abuse, you can kind of patch up the wounds and keep it moving, but the mental abuse kind of stay with you but then you're mental for a long time. And I'm here to tell any man or woman out there, if you with somebody and you in a mental relationship or physical, let it go. Years ago, I had a sister who was killed by a guy because he was mental and physically abusive towards her. And when he killed my sister, he did it at a gas station in front of everybody. And I never forget this, before my sister died, she used to come to my house every single day. And she lived a good little ways from me at that time. And she used to stop in my house every day and stand up in my front door and say, I just come to check on you to see how you doing. And I remember I had to go to work that whole week. I just couldn't shake it. I, I just couldn't shake what it was. And I got in my kitchen when I got home from work that night because I've been a hairstylist. And I sat in my kitchen on the stool. And it just keep coming to me to call your sister, call your sister. And I said, I, I was going to call her before I go to bed. I was like talking to myself, mentally talking to myself. So at that time, my mate got home and I told my mate that I don't know why I keep feeling my sister all day long and I'm still feeling her it's just something I can't shake so he said call her I said well let me take a shower and after I take a shower I'm gonna call her so I went out even inside my car to pray to myself and ask God whatever it is God you have the power of all things, God, but let your will be done, no matter what it is. So I prayed to the Most High about it, and my mate came out in the car with me, and I was telling my mate, I don't know why I'm feeling my sister. My sister is going to die. Now, let me rewind this. A month prior, my mom got sick, which my mom is not here no more neither. My mom got sick and so the family was at the hospital because her sugar went up, however the kids may go in. When I was sitting in the lobby, me and my mate, and my sister came, her boyfriend came, the same guy, and they was across the room from me. So when I was sitting there, um, my sister wasn't sitting by her mate. I would, you know, somebody just look over and when I looked over at the guy, his whole, his whole facial change, and he said, I'm going to kill your sister. Now, mentally, his mouth not moving, but it's like, whatever spirit been in him, I could have heard what it was saying. And I rebuked it. And I told my mate what I saw. You know how you hunt your mate and you whisper, and I tell my mate, look. This guy literally told me, this demon in you know, him told me that he's going to kill my sister. So at the time I got up, I went to the snack machine. I called her daughter in the snack machine with me in the lobby area. Me and her was talking. I said, you know what's the weird thing about it? I said, when I looked over at that man, whatever in him told me that he's going to kill your mama, which is my sister. So at that time, my sister walked in the snack room the same one who passed 
And I told her what I saw. And I told her, whatever you do, slowly pack your things and leave. But when you leave, do not stay in that same area. Just go stay with our mom at the time and get yourself together. Because one thing I always know, you got to ease your hand at the lion's mouth. So I was told after she passed that she was packing her things and slowly as, as, as she leave the house, I guess, to go to work, she was slowly packing her things to leave. She finally got at the house. She left him. Because at that time, I guess he done meet somebody. He didn't want to be in a relationship no more. Okay, my sister was the type. She don't drink. She don't smoke. She's a more of a quiet person. She not really going to argue. She'll just leave first. And um, it was told that she did left. She found her a place, but she didn't move the way I tell her to move at the area that she was living. She found another place in the same area. We make the long story short. I guess he wanted her back. And she didn't want that. She just wanted to take care of our mom because our mom at the time wasn't well. And um, he didn't took that well, so he ended up, you know, killing my sister, domestic violence. And when he realized that he killed my sister, we was told that he went straight to his mother and told his mother what happened. And he went home, and when he walked through his front door, that's when he shot himself. Now, my family were mad. My brother was mad at the time. And that's before the guy shot himself. And I try to explain to my family, you know, what we see right now is spiritual. And most people who don't understand that, these people who commit suicide and even kill others, those are different spirit within these people taking over at that time. But it, they can't take over you for a long period of time unless you is... Um, I don't want to say that word, but they can't take over but so long. So I try to explain. So after I explain to my family, I mean, they, they calm down a whole lot and they kind of understand where I've been coming from. I said, y'all got to understand something. When you have evil entities out there and they're doing evil things like this, their job is to take out as many people as they can. And when I explain it to my family and break it down, they kind of understand and be like, you know what? We're not going to do anything to the guy. You know, I let them, I always try to tell people, let the most high do what he got to do. Cause at the end of the day, we can't play God. We can mess that thing up because all our life is destined by time. Okay. Let me fast forward a little bit. So I was dating this guy who was very, years ago, who was very mental abusing. And the reason why I'm bringing up this part, because people got to understand that physical and mental abuse is very dangerous. I heard people actually speak about, and I never went through it except the mental part, but I heard people say sometimes people get mental before they start getting physical. Anybody know me know I'm a type girl. I don't back down. I'm not going to let no man hit me. And if you ever lay hands on me one time, it's going to be bad. And I'm going to make sure you ain't going to put your hand on me no more. So this man did try that one that one time. And he wasn't successful because I think I was eating something. And I had a fork in my hand. And and I just started stabbing him in his head with the fork. How did the kiss me? Going, I guess he learned from that. He couldn't put his hand on me. If he was a woman beater. He couldn't do that to me. Okay. And most time when men feel as though they can't have that same power, even women, they start calling you names because they can't break you down physically, but they'll find a mental way to do it because they know they can't put hands on you. You're not going to tolerate them putting hands on you. So they'll find something mental to try to hurt you. So anybody out there who is taking mental abuse and you got a mate who is cheating and sleep with other people is not normal. Get out of it. And I tell my kids all the time, if you with somebody who mentally abusing you and physically abusing you, let it go. Other than that, I'm behind my kids because I'm old school. I'm behind my kids 100 percent. 
Ain't nothing out there. If you with somebody, you with them. You're not going to have two boyfriends, three baby daddy is, is, is not going to work around me. And I got a son. And I, I tell my son all the time, if you ever try to have more than one woman, and you got a girlfriend, I'm going to tell your girlfriend what you're doing. Because your mom is a woman. And I don't want no man to play over me. And I don't believe in cheating on nobody on me. I don't believe in that. So any men, if you out there and you being abusive mentally and physically abused towards that lady, is a price you're going to pay for that. Don't you know, and even women, if you being abusive towards your mate, is a price you're going to pay for that too. People got to understand, everything in this world that's surrounding us, is it is for our pleasure, but for us not to be in the world and do worldly things, but to survive where we don't have to be in poverty, but to have a, a comfortable life. If any man, and I'm not judging no man, I'm not a man, but I can only speak of things that I know. If any man out there, you line up and you don't have all them women and you say, you know, I'm, I'm going to be dedicated to my mate only. The most high will not allow you to lack for nothing. Same thing as a woman. If you out there and you're not doing what you're supposed to do and you sleep with all kind of men's and stuff, the most high is not going to bless you the way you're supposed to be blessed. If anything, you're going to wake up confused, angry. You're not going to be happy when you get up. That means you got things within your life you got to clean up. I was there. I used to been. I used to love to fight. I've been a mean person, kicking doors in. But I thank God for change. The Most High changed me. Now, if somebody pissed me off, I don't know how I'm going to act. But I just pray to God that it won't get to that point. So I had to change the way I think. I had to change the way I do things. And, and, and I was never really mean towards people. But I never let nobody disrespect me. That was a cut ass off top. But I grew out of that. I, I, learned, I learned to change. And, and, and my mate helped change me. This man taught me things that I didn't even know. And that's very important too. You being with somebody who loves you. Who willing to help you? Who not gonna laugh and make fun of you? Who is not gonna egg that that stuff on? And ladies, you can be blessed also. Even if you teaching your mate, if your mate don't know any better, because we all gonna we all supposed to learn from one another upon this earth. But one thing you're not supposed to abuse your mate, and you're not supposed to talk down on your mate. Talk to your kids. I had a daughter who was going through physical and mental. Y'all got to understand that thing is real. I don't care how much you, you may like that person. You got to tell your kids it's not worth it. Because sooner or later, somebody going to get hurt. When you deal with people like that. And sometimes these type people had a past where they probably been uh, physically and mentally abused. And some of them been sexually abused. And they play a role in their mental when they got older. So they use it as a weapon to tear you down to make themselves feel good. So anybody out there, hold on. Pit in your mind. I don't care if you're maybe like you this, that, however the case may go. You got to pit in your mind. You know you're not that. And you got to talk to your mentor. You know you're not like that. And you got to rebuke that. Rebuke them things. You can't let people speak things upon your life. I don't let nobody speak nothing upon my life. I try to stay positive constantly. And like I say, I'm not good on video. Communicating with people. But as time go along, I'm going to get probably better at it. I'm more better at communicating with people one-on-one. -on -one. So, yes. Thanks for tuning in to this channel. Keep your head up no matter what.
Don't you give up. No matter what, you not what your mate or anybody who you're dealing with, if they call you names, you know you're not that. God made us to be the most greatest people upon this earth. If you human, you are great. Don't never let nobody um, take that away from you. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Bye. Uh, they got me twisted. I'm tired of these bitches. I'm pulling it card. The spade is missing. Calling your bluff. You said that it's up, but I beg to differ. I ain't giving no fucks. You just talking tough. Don't seek.